Hey everyone, it's your girl Avion Korean and welcome back to another video. If you're new to my channel, welcome girl. Make sure you like and make sure you comment so I know that you're new here. But if you're not new, welcome back. Um, as y'all read about the title, I'm about to be telling y'all the story time on how I definitely cheated getting my license. Now, I'm li I was a little skeptical on telling this story because um, I didn't know if that was illegal or not. So, let's just keep it between us. I don't know. But, I mean, I doubt it because I already have the license. So, what can y'all do? Like, what can y'all do now? Y'all gonna take it from me? Because don't ask me for Don't schedule me for a new license because, baby, I don't know. I oh, can't try that good, but okay, let's get right into the story time, y'all. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe, and I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Yeah, let's get right into it. So, this was in 2020, y'all. It was literally the start of COVID. So, I graduated in 2020, so it was kind of going to be a gift to me. My mom had already got me a car in 20, 2019. Well, I got my own self a car, but y'all you know, know how that is. But, like, 2019, I got I got my first car. And I had my temps, but I could never really drive the car or whatever. Like, my mom was kind of strict. Like, I could never really drive my car because I only had a temp, so I had to drive with a licensed driver. Anywho, so I woke up, well, I got one day, and I'm just like, Ma, can I go get my license? Because she wanted to put me in driving school. But, like I said, this was in 2020, so it was in the midst of COVID. So, like, driving school kind of shut down. They got really, really strict. It was not taking any new students. Y'all. So I'm like, my, I could drive. So my auntie started taking me to like this park, this parking lot where I can drive and like free drive and stuff. My mom only took me driving like one time because my mom was like really, really nervous. So she didn't want to take me driving. Anyway, so I'm getting a car with my brother. I'm getting a car with my auntie. I'm getting a car with my cousins. Like everybody just teaching me how to drive. And I felt like I had it. I didn't really have it. Anywho, I, I only knew very, very little on how to really do maneuverability. Right? I knew how to drive for it though, so that's all that really mattered to me. So, anyways, one day mom ended up taking me to the license bureau so I can go take my driver's test. And like I told y'all before, this was during COVID. It was like the peak of COVID too. So masks were heavy, like heaviest ever. So we ended up um walking up there, but prior to going, I was watching all these driver driving um driver test videos and people was always saying that their instructor was so so mean so i'm scared because i'm sensitive as fuck so i'm just like oh, i hope i don't get nobody mean because i'm just gonna have to get out the car because it's like what do you mean i fail how are you gonna sit here and tell me i fail or tell me that i'm not doing stuff right so i get there and i'm like scared i'm literally shaking I'm literally shaking because I'm like, I just know I'm going to get the meanest instructor of them all. He just going to say I failed. I didn't already tell everybody like I'm getting my license today. I just knew I was going to be driving off that, leaving that license bureau. I just knew I was going to be leaving with my else. Anyways, so we're talking to the lady um, and the driver instructor come out. It's this tall white man and he looked mean. Well, actually... His face was kind of covered, but his eyebrows looked a little angry. Like, he come out, he greet me and my mom or whatever, and he take us to the to the back. He take us to the back of the building because that's where the parking lot is. So, y'all, he literally was like, um, oh, well, I'm not getting in the car. I'm, I'm just going to have to observe from the outside of the car due to COVID. Um... Basically, my mom is just going to be my driver instructor. So, he was on the outside instructing me, but my mom is literally on the passenger side. But he said, Mom, like, you can't say anything and you have to keep your mask on. And basically, if they if he was to catch my mom cheating, like, helping me in any kind of way, it would be an automatic fail. My mom ain't give a fuck about that shit. And I didn't either. So, anyways, we started up or whatever. And I was, I think I was doing pretty good, actually. I was doing pretty good. My mom was like, make sure you put your seatbelt on. I put my seatbelt on. Um, he asked me to turn on my left blinker, right blinker, that. And then he was, basically, he was just seeing, did, did I know certain controls? By the way, I had a Toyota Matrix. So, my car was a really old hoopy. But I knew all the controls on my car. I think my brother or my auntie taught me everything before my driver test. Anyway, so I'm doing all the instructors or whatever, the stuff. 
So he has me drive forward, make a turn in between the cones, like make these turns and stuff. I was doing good with that because like I told y'all, I could drive forward. I'm a good forward driver. But when it comes to that reverse or anything I got to do other than driving forward, I don't know nothing about that. Don't ask me. To this day, I can't do no maneuver. I can't. I can do a little bit of parallel park, but the ain't parallel park when you pull into the driveway. I mean, the drive like a y'all know what I'm talking about. When you pull into a parking spot, I can back into a parking spot, but it has to have a camera. Like y'all, I don't know how to use my mirrors or anything. I literally cheated. I only know how to use a car if it has the camera. But let me keep going with my story. So, anyways, I'm driving forward. I'm doing good. Whatever. Now he said it's time for maneuverability. And I looked at my mom. She looked at me. And it was time to cheat. Okay. So anyways, he um had like the two cones, or I think it was three cones aligned. And I had to like go backwards this way. Well, this way. Then I had to go backwards this way. And then come back up without hitting the cones. So I'm literally going backwards. And when I tell y'all, I was so close. Literally about to tap the freaking cone. I just saw the man just like this. He was ready to write it down. Psych, nigga. Psych. Psych. Got your ass. My mom was like, she was so, my mom had this um, Shell Obama mask on. And she was like, look, my mom calls me Lou. She was like, Lou, turn the wheel, turn the wheel to the left. So, y'all know, I can't be the only one. But y'all know when y'all turning, like driving, when you're going, when you're reversing with driving, like the wheel is so confusing to me. Or maybe it's just me. I could just be a little bit off. But like, um... If, if you're going backwards and somebody tells you turn to the left, y'all know how the left is really turning you to the right. And to the right is really turning you to the left. Like, that's why I told y'all I'm just a forward driver. Just take me forward, okay? Take me to the front. I don't want to do all that confusing opposite day stuff. So, anyways, my mom's like, turn your wheel to the left. Lou, turn your wheel to the left. So, I'm turning, but I'm getting closer and closer to the, com the cone because I'm going the wrong way. Like, I'm literally going the wrong way. So, my mom kind of, like, reaches her hand down and, like, turns the wheel the exact way that I need to go. Boom. Got that right. Then, I end up doing it on my own, the next one. So, y'all, when I tell you when it was over and that man came out with that paper, y'all, I literally got 100% on a driver test. And... Me personally, y'all might not think that I cheated, but that, that's literally cheating. Because he told me if my mom said anything, that that's an automatic fail. So, I just feel like I was not really supposed to get my license. And if I was to this day, me being 21 years old, and I think I took my license. I mean, I got my license when I was maybe 16 or turning 17. 17. I was 17 years old. If they was to tell me now to go do a driving test... When I tell you, I would get a hard fail. A hard fail. Like, no lie. I don't know how to maneuver for nothing. Like, if I'm driving somewhere, and it's a car right here, and it's a car right here, and I have to get in between both of those cars to get the parking spot, I would just keep going and find me a different parking spot. Or I might just park in a parking garage. I'm not even finna risk hitting those people's cars. Or embarrassing myself on this street. I really don't know what to do. I don't know what I'm doing. Like... But yeah, so I definitely cheated getting my license, but I got them license though, and I got 100%. So, um, yeah, COVID kind of really actually helped me get my license. Like, if it wasn't for those masks, if it wasn't for that, I would not have got my license at all. I still would have just had my temps. I would, I probably would have went to drive school, of course, but like, yeah, so... <laughs> That's really the it that's really the end of this story, y'all. Um comment down below. Let me know. Do y'all got your license yet? Or like are y'all nervous to get your license? Cause I was so nervous. Like, that got to be top three scariest feelings ever. Just knowing that you have a possibility of failing because so many people fail. People some people pass on like their third attempt. And the fact that I passed on my first one by cheating is just so crazy to me. So, yeah, that's pretty much the end of this story, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I hope y'all probably got, like, a laugh out of this video because the story is just so funny to me every time I think about it because when I tell you, if I was not with my mom, I would have failed. But I think he had the option to also go in the back seat, too. I can't really remember, y'all, but I'm going to see y'all in the next video. Thank y'all for watching this quick little story time, and see y'all in the next video.